Western Methodist Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, our teams are ready with advanced technology and imaging to deliver custom treatment plans safely. And our minimally invasive procedures can help you heal faster. We have the expertise to keep you moving because every movement matters. Find the care you need at locations throughout Houston. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. What do you do when you... Our next broadcast is coming up Tuesday. We'll be on air at 6.15, our Carbock Brewing pregame show. 6.30 from Bluebell Park. Texas A&M hosting your Rice Owls. That series goes back a while. Just looking over the past year's records, past few years, as this first pitch to Morris hold on and missed. Now they've had some good success. The Aggies in recent history and, of course, going back the last 25 years or so. No balls in one strike. Rice in front, one to nothing. Moore, 250 batter. Team best two home runs, and he pulls this one weekly foul. Deskin struck out the side in order, all swinging in that first inning. At 17 strikeouts his last two starts coming in. Went six innings against HBU March 9th here. 11 strikeouts, no walks. 0-2, Friendswood product comes home. Curve is down low. One ball and two strikes. Got the no decision against Kansas State. And that was one nothing win. And that wacky play to end it. Went five innings, six strikeouts, and did not allow a run. One-two pitch, show with a bunt. Or is that just a check swing? Either way, Moore goes down, and that's four straight Ks to start the day for Brandon Deskins. One down now for Ryan Olison. Olison from the Dallas Metroplex. Calls Carrollton home. Went to Hebron High School. This pitch is a strike. Heavy breaking ball so far for Deskins. Olsen's first at bat here this weekend series. Rice leading 1-0, top of the second. The set and the pitch. Downstairs, fastball, 1-1. One one. 400 to straightaway center here at the wreck. 330 down the lines left and right. 375 in the alleys. The 1-1. One, one. Pulled. Foul rolling into that southern dugout. Jags have those navy blue tops again. It's their Friday uniform. Jags written out in white outlined. It's like a faint yellow there. And solid gray pants. One ball and two strikes. Deskins has got ahead of every hitter he's faced so far. Here's the pitch. Curving outside. Olison not biting at that one. Just missing. Thompson, the second baseman, is on deck. Deskins holds at the long... Blue sleeves kicks up and the 2 2 pitch. Called strike three. Two down. Deskins clicking early on. And Bubba Thompson, 220 batter, four RBIs on the season. Did not play in yesterday's game. And Friday's opener, he started at the hot corner, went one for three. A strikeout and a ground down. Kenke shows the bunt, pitches outside. One to nothing, Rice leads Southern. Top of two. 
Deskins off the side of the rubber. Now he steps back on. Here the 1-0 pitch. Loops outside, eight ball. I'd like to welcome in our YouTube audience that is in the house. We are live on YouTube. Conference USA TV is down momentarily, but we have our best minds on top of it. 2-0 pitch. Strike is called. 2-1 and one now. But you can catch us on the Rice House Game Day app as well. The tune-in app, Search Rice Baseball. Favorite that channel to take us along. And ricehouse.com, mobile, desktop, and the like. Here's the 2-1 from Deskins. Thompson fouls it straight back, and it's squared up even at 2-2. Two and two. Deskins sits. Hands just above the belt and away from his chest. Kind of rocks back and forth, tapping one of those toes. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Three up, three down, striking out the side again. Brandon Deskin, six Ks already through the first two innings, middle of the second. Rice one and Southern nothing from Learfield IMG College. What do you do when you need safe, reliable school transportation? You go win. Win Transportation is one of the largest group transportation providers in Texas, a leader in charters, shuttles, and special events of all sizes. Five people or 5,000. Win offers customizable school transportation with a wide range of motor coaches, many buses, and vans. So, for safe, reliable school transportation, do like the owls and go win. Book at go win. G-O-W-Y-N-N-E.com Big trip on the horizon? Before you depart, you gotta park. The parking spot is a simpler, easier way to navigate airport parking, and you can save when you book online. You're guaranteed a spot, and we even pick you up at your trunk in our yellow and black spotted shuttles and take you straight to the terminal. Parking and saving come full circle at the parking spot. The parking spot, proud sponsor of Rice University. Visit theparkingspot.com to reserve your spot today. Rice House lead the Southern Jaguars one to nothing. Bottom of the second inning. Cruz Walsh and Carp at the plate now for the Blue and Gray. Antonio smacked down right at 300 this year. His one home run came in a Friday night. Three run homer pretty early in that game, the third inning. Antonio one for two in yesterday's game. Scored a run, had a pair of walks. But two RBIs, bases loaded walk and an RBI single. First pitch ball one to Antonio. Cruz, C-R-U-Z. The 1-0, swing and a miss. One ball and one strike. Digging back. These two games, I don't think I've mentioned this this weekend. The 1-1 comes home, tilts in for a strike. Now 1-2. But these are the first two games in the history of these programs. Pretty surprising considering how relatively close they are. The one-two pitch. Fastball outside. Two and two. That 85 mile an hour fastball. Coach Crenshaw told me before the game Battaglia would be mid to upper 80s with that heater. You saw that upper end of that now. Two-two. Here's a kick. Fires a breaking ball in then. Just does not get in. Look to be that slider. Three and two is the count out of the right-handed hitting Cruz. Antonio two for five in this weekend series. Got that home I mentioned. Driven in five RBIs. Driven in five runs. Fouls this back. This count stays full. It's a most on the Owls. They've been 
Well, check that. Walsh, who's on deck, he had six. Remember that granny he had late in that, that Friday win. 3-2 pitch. Checking. Goes back to the mound. Coming over to tackle to attack him. I think Antonio thought that was foul. He is tagged out. So that's a uh, rare one unassisted in the pool. Now for one down. Brings up Connor Walsh, 176 hitter. Three home runs and 10 RBIs. one nothing. Rice leads Southern here, bottom of the second. Pitch from Batacula, and Walsh watches this in for a strike. Connor, two for eight this series. Scored a couple of runs. Those six ribbies. Four coming on that one swing Friday night. 0-1 pitch, a ball. One and one. Will Carp on deck. Now the wide in the pitch. Walsh carves this one very high to right center. Back into his left is Spears. He'll make the grab. Really more true right field there. Way it carved and sliced off the bat. Thought it'd be going in that direction, but four straight retired for Batagular, bringing up Carp, K A R P. Veteran from Princeton, New Jersey. Only has one at bat in this series. Came in yesterday's game. He's 0 for 1. Hitting 263 on the season. He's got a double and eight RBIs. Swings to the first pitch here and flares it out into right center. Plops. And takes a very wide turn at first base. As Armstrong had a while to get there. That standard depth. Spears and the rest of the Southern outfielders seem to have been playing a little deep with the wind the last couple days. He might have been a, a couple steps back, but and center fielders prone to be the fastest outfielders, obviously. Armstrong got that, and, and one you think would be a Spears baseball there, but Carp gets on for the Owls' third hit. Here's Hal Hughes. How 196 on the season hit his first Rice homer yesterday. Carp going on the first pitch, taken for a strike, down to second. Not many catchers can run like that. Carp slides in with his third stolen base of the season in his many tries. Hughes has a duck on a pond here. Yeah, Hal's no doubter yesterday. Saw the replay of that on social media that confirmed it. He, he got all of it. To left field. Put some good aluminum on it. Oh, one pitch. Swings it and wraps it to his counterpart at shortstop. Wilbur fires above the head, but reached up by Burgos for the out. No runs on a hit. The out strand, another in scoring position in as many innings. It stays at Rice one and Southern nothing heading to this third. This is Rice Baseball from Learfield IMG College. At Smart Financial, we think your banking experience should feel like a home run. Since 1934, we have prided ourselves on providing hassle-free services with a game plan that focuses on people, not profits. If you live, work, or go to school at or around Rice University, visit smartcu.org to join our family and become a part of the winning team. Smart Financial, proud sponsor of Rice Athletics. Federally insured by the NCUA. The members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 716 built the things that make Rice University and Houston great, and we want you to join us. Build a better career. To find out more, visit IBEW716.net. Rice House Baseball brought to you by Carbach Brewing. Carbach Brewing Company proudly brewed in Houston at 2032 Carbach Street. Carbach gets crafted for serious fun. Got that roost down there with some uh, Carbach brews in there. Hopefully we get to do it this year. Generally we have a uh, couple Carbach nights during the season. Those folks know to have know how to have some fun. They're not uh, 
not too buttoned up when we have them in the booth. One to nothing, Rice leads Southern here as Deskins has struck out every Jaguar that he's faced thus far. And he's got the bottom three of the order here leading off this third. Green, Smith, and Armstrong. This pitch is poured over for a strike. Green 0 for 9 this season. Getting the start behind the plate. The third catcher in as many days for Southern. The 0-1 pitch is outside. One ball and one strike. Al's one run coming on a Como RBI double to play Dunlap. One ball, one strike. The pitch curves for a strike. Deskins on point. Using that breaking ball to set up the fastball here for the first seven batters. He has been clicking. Five of his six strikeouts have been swinging. One and two. The kick, the pitch, check swing down. He did not go, according to first base umpire. Bob Charmo. The Deskins coming into this game, a team best, 19 and two-thirds innings. Now up to the nanosecond, he's got 31 strikeouts on the year. And his seven appearances here in his third start. 2-2 two -two pitch. Called strike three. Another K. I got to say, been doing this a while. And haven't, I'd really have to go back in the record. I don't have that info on me. Take some research the last time. We've had some great rice pitchers here that obviously put up some outstanding strikeout numbers, but I can't remember seven to start a game. Here's the pitch. In for a strike. 0 oh and 1. Quincy Smith, 1 for 3 on this season, getting the start in left field today. Started in place of Jolly Hendricks. Coach Crenshaw said he wanted to be uh, careful with him. 0 oh, 1 pitch. Hit high down the line and left. This is going back, and this is a liner off the wall in deep left field corner. Smith launching this one to left. Gets the one-out double. Southern's got the tying run out there. He got all of that one. I don't know if it would have hung up long enough because that was a good... There could be a looping line drive. That was it. I mean, he hit at the same time where it didn't have a lot of arc under it, but still, yesterday, that might have carried out of here. Right now, the flags are are pretty stiff, but they've been bl bl blowing mainly out anyway, so maybe it wouldn't have, but still, he got a lot of it as Jalen Armstrong leads off. Uh, the nine hitter is here now as he takes this pitch for a ball. One to nothing, Rice leads. Breaks the string of seven straight strikeouts to start this game for Brandon Deskins. Look back at second. Long stare. He was kind of toying with the runner there as Deskins steps off, makes one step towards the runner Smith at second base, but does not do anything. One-o -oh pitch, low end outside. Two balls and no strikes. Playing the third inning, Rice leading one to nothing. Left-handed bat of Armstrong. Three for seven in this series so far. Scored a run. Pitch, swing and a miss. Runner was going. Throw down to third. They got him. Great throw by Carp. They get him. Two five on the cot stealing. Two away now. I always say third base is the toughest one to steal. That was pretty close too. Two balls and one strike to pitch. It is a ball.
Carp, pretty good percentage. The sixth runner he's got stealing this year. Three balls and one strike. First three ball count we've seen Deskins get into. Holds it at the belt. Deskins kicks up and the 3-1 pitch. Strike. Now it is full. Three and two. Deskins looking to uh, get through the order facing the minimum first time through. Now the sun poking out even more here at Reckling Park. The 3-2 pitch drops that arm angle down a bit, and it's cute foul to the left side. On deck hitter, the leadoff guy, Wilbur, picks it up. And launches a bouncer over to our guy, Christian, the student manager. Three balls and two strikes. Now Deskins, lefty, kicks up the right leg, fires in, inside, ball four, he lost him. Armstrong takes first, getting Wilbur up. It's due to Wilbur, struck out swinging in the first. Como moving around there, now he stays about 10 feet off that third base bag. Deskin steps and rockets a pickoff throw over to first base. Brandon sets. First pitch coming into Wilbur. The kick comes home. Curveball outside. Here's the pitch, runner goes, pitch down, throw down to second, not in time. Coming in front is Edwards to snag that. Fifth stolen base off of Deskins this year. Seeing a uh, aggressive mindset here for Coach Crenshaw. One ball and one strike. Fires home. Curves for a ball. Now it's at two and one. Like most pitchers, things have changed for Deskins when Southern gets some guys on. He was in that groove, retiring the first seven. He holds, checks second a couple of times. Now kicks, fires home the two one curveball. Swept foul to the left. Two and two. Owls looking for their first sweep of the season here today. Looking to get three games above 500. First time in a while for that. Now the set, the 2-2 pitch, outside. The second straight full count. One to nothing, Rice leads Southern. Deskins allowed the one out double. Smith was caught stealing, then he walked Armstrong and Armstrong just stole second. Lead off guy, Wilbur here. Second straight 3-2 count. Deskin stepping off and bluffing a throw. The pitch outside, ball four, back-to-back -back walks here for Deskins. Right now first and second for Tremaine Spears. One of Deskin's strikeout victims back in the first inning. Oh, 
And now Matt Braggett coming out to talk things over with Deskins. Try to settle him down after the, the double broke up his strikeout groove. Let's get that property on. They want to settle him down a bit. One nothing game, Rice leads. Never did up to you on that update you on that conference USA out of town scoreboard earlier. Results from yesterday before we move on to today of some notable upcoming opponents. UTSA Patrick Hallmark, former Rice assistant coach, will bring in his Roadrunners in next week. They got the series win to clinch and looking for the sweep today. UTSA won 7-4 to four today in Corpus Christi. They had a three-run rally in the eighth inning. Southern Miss has won 7 of 8. They're looking for the sweep today against Missouri State. Walker Powell in eight scoreless innings in that 5-0 win over the Bears. And then in two weeks, we'll be in Murfreesboro against Middle Tennessee. They split the doubleheader in Memphis yesterday. Miss our trips to Memphis. Here's the pitch. It's a ball outside to the right-handed hitting Spears, 1-0. and oh. Middle Tennessee won the first game 8-2. They lost the second one, one nothing. but Middle Tennessee, Zach Keenan, a loss at nine strikeouts, only one run. At the bottom of the first inning, Memphis home run stood up and ended up splitting that doubleheader. 1-0 pitch, ball away. Now two balls and no strikes for Deskins. He's got uh, two Jaguars on. Armstrong at second. He had walked and stole second. Then Wilbur got the count full, and he just walked as well. Spears slowly twirling that bat. Right-handed hitter. He's got his wrist heavily taped up. Old school look again. No batting gloves. 2-0 is the count in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Like that back foot slider from the left-hander will come into that right-handed hitter. Two balls and one strike. Deskins told me in a preseason questionnaire, of course, the fastball, but has the slurve slider and changeup. Two balls and one strike. Deskins looks at second and the pitch. Curveball grounded hard past the mound. Diving Hughes could not get it. Goes into left center. This game will be tied as Walsh comes to third. And they'll have the runner between second and third. Wilbur in a rundown. And then the Owls throw it away. Not able to get Wilbur dead in his rights. Come around to score was Armstrong, and it's a one-to-one -one game. RBI for Spears, his sixth of the season. They're saying Burgos. I thought it was Burgos, but the Burgos family, or Burgos, <laughs> might be saying, hey, yeah, knucklehead, you've been saying it wrong the whole weekend. Well, I didn't know. <laughs> Old football coach told me good wisdom. I know I don't know. The pitch is down low, a ball. One ball and no strikes. Burgos from Brookhaven, Mississippi. He is a sophomore, right-handed hitter. Struck out swinging his first time up. He's three for 10 in this series. One and oh, the count, the kick. Pitch a strike. One and one. Rice one and Southern one. Southern has not had a lead in this series. Looking to do that. The swing of the bat here. The pitch. Swung on and sliced into right center. Tailing away from Walsh. He's on his horse and he can't get it. It goes over his head and rolls all the way to the warning track. One run coming in to score Wilbur. Spears comes around third. He will score as well. Two run double for Burgos. RBI's 10 and 11. A team best. And Southern, just like that, has a three to one lead. Second double of the inning. Third hit of the inning now for Southern. Here's Xavier Moore, their cleanup hitter. So a big 
dividing line for Neskins as he struck out the first seven guys that he faced. But since then, last five guys have reached without three runs. This pitch bouncing through the left side, a base hit. They'll point this runner. Burgos coming home to score. The throw dribbles in. Too late to get Burgos. He slides in. The RBI for Moore. And it's now 4-1 to one in favor of Southern. Designated hitter number 23, Ryan Olison. Definitely sense that Southern has an air of confidence about them now. Despite losing the last two games. That's their fourth hit of the game. All, of course, coming in this inning. And some stirring down in the outs bullpen. Yes, now there is some throwing. Look over to first base. Moore back. Could be Reed Gallant. They're wanting to get him, him in. Hopefully Deskins can get out of this, though. Just like that, John Sullivan texts me. Been doing this a while. It is Reed Gallant down there in the pen. <laughs> Can read my mind before I send the text. Some little overhang that gets some shade to the other guys in the house bullpen that blocks some of the guys throwing deep down there in the corner. Here's the pitch. The curves low and outside a ball. One and oh. Southern four, Rice one. Jags have put up a crooked number here in the top of the third inning. This pitch, first a toss over to first base. Olsen, the eighth batter to come to the plate this inning. One ball and no strikes. Brings it down to the belt. Kicks up, fires home. This loops outside a ball. Two balls and no strikes. Thompson on deck now for Southern. Olsen choking up on the bat, right-handed hitter, knees bent, the 2-0 pitch. Hits it high and foul to the right side. That's out there towards the parking lot. Maybe by that Kona ice stand there. Two balls and one strike. Deskins holding. The kick and the 2 1 pitch. Lifted very high to left. Big tall can of corn this Sunday for, for Dunlap. Reaches up and grabs it out of the sky for the out. But not before. Four run score in the inning on four hits. And they strand one. Southern in front. Four to one as we go to the middle of the third here from Learfield IMG College. Even now, while we're distancing, your body needs to move. At Houston Methodist Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, our teams are ready with advanced technology and imaging to deliver custom treatment plans safely. And our minimally invasive procedures can help you heal faster. We have the expertise to keep you moving because every movement matters. Find the care you need at locations throughout Houston. Houston Methodist, leading medicine. All right, baseball fans, this season Carbach Brewing wants to remind you to enjoy a locally crafted Love Street Coach Style Blonde or Hoppadillo IPA while you watch your Rice Owls take the field. And after the game, check us out at the brewery where we're open seven days a week. Grab a bite to eat in the restaurant, relax in the beer garden, or take an informational tour. So crack open a cold one, root on your Rice Owls, and follow all the action at CarbachBrewing.com. 
Carbot Brewing, Houston, Texas. Justin Dunlap digs in for the Owls. He'll be leading off this third, followed by Knighting and Como, the top three of the Owls' order. Four to one. See Batagula trying to get the shutdown inning here as he deals this one outside to Dunlap. Congrats to the Rice women's basketball team. They earn a... Spot in the uh, WNIT Fort Worth Regional title game. The 1-0 pitch. Inside strike. It's their fifth straight 20-win season. It's a school record. And Coach Tina Langley led the women to an 87-73 win over Fresno State yesterday in Fort Worth. 1-1 pitch. A ball 2-1. They're 20-4. They take on Cal Baptist coming up tomorrow night at 7. It's over in Fort Worth. The wind in the 2-1 pitch. Dunlap wraps it back over the mound. Bouncing, bouncing a nice Sunday hop over to Wilbur. Fires on the run. Nice play to get Dunlap. Not hitching any wagons there. He can move. Don't know. Him and Walsh would have neck and neck. I haven't heard the 60 times. Well, I have on Walsh, I think. it would be a good race between him and Dunlap. But Dunlap not slow at all. That took a great play from Wilbur. He made it there to bring up Knighting. Bradley grounded out to first, his first time up, and he takes a ball here. 4-1, to one, Southern Lee's Rice. Tagalia steps into the wind in the pitch. Shows a bunt and fouls it back. Moore, the third baseman, doesn't flinch. It's not as pronounced as you see a lot of big league defenses, but the left-handed hitter up there, they'll move their infield was over. The first baseman, Burgos, about nine feet off the line there. But the uh, third baseman, Moore, now he charges in as this off-speed delivery comes in, swinging to miss, knighting. One e and two. It's always a beautiful day at Reckling Park. Sun shines on Reckling Park. It is not the best score on the board right now, but as the home plate umpire, Michael Grisham, makes a signal. Looking near the southern dugout. Now he points back to Bataglia saying, let's ready to go. Huh. One-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Knighting, he goes down. Two away. Here's Como batting. Looking back more to that recap of the Rice women at a season high in points Saturday. Nancy Mulkey had a season high 28. First pitch to Como in for a strike. Now it's trying to make a little more history tomorrow. They have only advanced to the third round of the WNIT one other time. Back last century. 98-99, they fell to Arkansas. 1-1 one, one pitch coming up now as he took that last one low. Braden RBI double to bring home the Owls' first and only run of the game. One ball, one strike, the pitch. It's down low. 2-1. You got Garibay on deck. Owls have had runners in each of the first two innings. They stranded a runner on each of those occasions in scoring position. Now the wind in this pitch. Down and out. Owls left 12 in yesterday's game. Eight in the first game. And other side of that coin. Southern strand 11 in yesterday's game. 
Hitters count three and one. The wind by Battaglia. The pitch is swung on, hit high to center. Wind not blowing out. Armstrong sizes it up and will make that catch. One, two, and three. Shut down frame for the Jaguars. Four to one. They lead Rice as we head to the fourth from Learfield IMG College. Hi, it's Olivia Munn with my shelter pets, Frankie and Chance. Say hi, guys. <coughs> When I adopted them, I discovered that they both have incredible personalities. Chance's sole purpose in life is to love and to be loved. Frankie is a little bit of a scoundrel and always entertaining. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Adopt pure love at theshelterpetproject.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council, the Humane Society of the United States, and Maddie's Fund. Sweet strawberry icing. You're in goodwill and just past that vintage denim jacket you spot. Miniature donut earrings. You lean in. Ah, that's the scent of shopping success. Because at Goodwill, every item you buy funds local job training and more. So bring home those donut earrings and bring home so much good to your community. Goodwill. Bring good home. Brought to you by Goodwill and the Ad Council. The Wyndham Houston Medical Center Hotel and Suites is the preferred hotel for anybody visiting the Medical Center, the Museum District, or Rice University. We offer the largest suites in the Medical Center, complete with full kitchens, and our full-service restaurant and outdoor pool will make your stay complete. We look forward to having you experience the Wyndham Houston Medical Center Hotel and Suites soon. And if you need a group rate or need 10 or more rooms, don't forget to call 713-528-7744. That's 713-528-7744. When an unexpected injury or illness occurs, it's important to know where to go for quality care close to home. Houston Methodist Emergency Care Centers and Emergency Departments offer a full range of care 24-7, 365 days a year for patients of all ages. We are taking extra precautions to keep you safe. Isolating suspected coronavirus patients, screening all visitors, requiring masks, and enforcing social distancing. Visit HoustonMethodist.org slash ER to find a location near you. Hi. Hi to you. Owls have a new pitcher. Reed Gallant is coming in. Four to one. Southern leads Rice. Wrap that Deskins line here in a second as Southern has nine has the um, Thompson, Green, and Smith coming up. Thompson, the one Jaguar that did not bat that last inning. Struck out two Deskins back in the second. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Well, I'll never pretend to evaluate things mechanically from pitchers, but Something obviously changed when Deskins got base runners on back in the third. 0-1 pitch. Thompson well out in front of that breaking ball. Now 0-2. He struck out the first seven batters that he faced. The next five reached, and he allowed four runs. So there was some good and some bad in it, but he... Pitched three innings, seven strikeouts, two walks, four runs. This pitch called strike three. Thompson goes down for a second time, bringing up Green. Catcher Green. Green, a strikeout victim. The last for Deskins leading off the third inning. Mosey's up into the box. Digs his back foot into the back of the box. Waves that back, back and forth behind his right ear hole. Takes the first pitch outside from Galan. It's the first time we've seen Reed in this series. Now the Owls coaches had him on their list to get him some action as this pitch a ball. 2 and 0 now to Green. Galan's had one start this year. That was that Sunday game in Minute Maid Park against Texas State. He is 1-1 one one on the year, a 193 earned run average. 2-0 pitch outside. Game on. And turned heads. 
nine and a third his first two relief appearances and did not allow a a nerd run only allowed two hits in the first two outings out of the pin against HBU and at Louisiana. 3-0 pitch. Get me over strike. He did. 3-1 and one now to the right-handed hitting green. Quincy Smith on deck. And should either he or Green reach, or both, Armstrong would be up next. Wind by Gallant. The kick and the 3-1. Outside, ball four. Owls came into this game only walking three batters the first two games. And that's the uh, third Jaguar they put on base here in this in this ball game. Just past the 2 o'clock hour, I'm J.P. Heath here in this Sunday series finale. Got a trip to College Station interrupting a long home stretch. Coming up, this pitch... Bins low and inside a ball, 1A and O. Oh. 6.30 on Tuesday. And then we have the pitch, right center field. This will land for a base hit. Trucking around second base is Green. He doesn't move like a catcher. He is hustling down to 30, slides in safely. They're at first and third now after Smith, second hit of the day, he came in with one hit on the season. And he's got two and hits now. They're at the corners now for Armstrong. You know, just glancing back at the last couple games, this bottom three, bottom four, the order four, for Southern has not been bad at all. As I mentioned, as a whole, they lost the first game 14-2, to two and Rice won yesterday as well to take the series 13 to 4, but it's one of the things I brought up in my Carbock Brewing pregame chat with with Coach Braga is that one through nine they've they've got hitters. It's, and the Owls did do some uh, good things to adjust once they got guys on base. We talked about those other two games. Four to one they trail here. That the corners here. That's what they do. This pitch comes low and inside. Armstrong not biting there. Didn't really show bunt on that occasion. And he's shown that penchant for handling the bat. There's a long stare into the Southern dugout for his sign. See this a lot in first and third one-out situations. And with as aggressive as they've been early on, I'd imagine they'd have something going here. One ball and no strike. Galan out of the stretch. They send the runner from first, hit run is on. As this dribbler goes up the line, run comes in, they'll score. Bang, bang, play at first base. So they had the safety squeeze in a way. They swing him bunt. No safety squeeze. It acted as a squeeze in that the runner went when that contact was made, and he was aggressive coming down the line. The bunt was not shown, but got it up the line. It scored their fifth run of the game. Southern leads 5-1. to one. I want to emphasize that was not, it was a swinging bunt, but it uh, brought the run home as Armstrong was out 1-3 there at first base. Smith moving up to second. This pitch is pulled foul to the left by uh, Judah Wilbur. 0-1. Wilbur strike out in the first, a walk, and scored one of their four runs that inning. The pitch is a ball. Gallant's last outing was against Northern Illinois. The Friday of that four game kind of split series against Kansas State, Northern Illinois. He had four strikeouts and no walks. The no decision was a save. Pitch, ball down. Now two balls and one strike. Gallant threw 43 pitches in that one. Saddles up here. Slight bend at the waist as he fidgets with the baseball with his right hand. Rests his glove on his knee as he's looking in for the sign from his catcher, Carp. Two balls and one strike. The pitch slides in for a strike. 
Now it is 2A and 2. Runner at second base is Smith. They've got a run in this inning. The pitch. Inside, he hit him. Gallant frustrated, slams his hand against his glove. And for good measure, the home plate umpire, Michael Grisham, walks down with the batter, Wilbur. Obviously, no intent there. I think always better to be safe than sorry, but. I think Gallant more mad at himself than anything there. Trying to get inside. I believe that was a breaking pitch, but. Smith up at second. Wilbur at first. Her Tremaine Spears batting now. RBI single and a strikeout today. He's one for two. Southern five, Rice one in this top of the fourth. Looks at second, the pitch comes home, swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Hughes back on the outfield, grass head short. Como stepping a dive off the bag at third. Edwards staying close to the second base bag. The 01 pitch is popped up right side. Gallant. Staring at it, Knighty comes in to call him off, and he will make the grab. But a run on a hit, they leave two. Five to one, Southern now leads over Rice in the middle of this fourth inning from Learfield IMG College. Yeah. Queen of all knowledge here, reminding you, creeps out there on the internet hack, scam, and trick savvy cyber users every day. But we can fight back. It's as easy as I see three. If you're a victim of online crime, don't give up. Visit IC3, the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center. Your tips help the FBI track down cyber criminals around the world. Report your crime to www.ic3.gov today. Hi everybody, I'm Jack Hanna. Since I was a boy, I've been fascinated with animals, especially their tireless work ethic. Just look at birds. We've got the supplies to build nests of penguins who travel up to 500 miles to secure food for their families. This work ethic is shared by our best friends, canines who perform life-saving work every day. Dogs come from returning veterans. They work with diabetics, alerting them when there's a change in their blood chemistry. Working dogs are valuable in many ways. So please join me and American Humane in supporting our heroic working dogs. Go to AmericanHumane.org to learn more. Rockets fans, AT&T Sportsnet is your home for everything Rockets. Stay up to date with your favorite team and follow ATT Sportsnet SW on social media for exclusive content. Hear from Kaylee Griffin and Matt Bullard for insight on what's going on around the team. I think he's going to be really, really good for the Houston Rockets. Plus new episodes of Rockets All Access. Turn to AT&T Sportsnet from pregame to postgame. Watch every game only on AT&T Sportsnet. Pitch to Guy Garibay is grounded out to second base. Second base. And picking it up was Thompson. And Garibay is thrown out. One pitch and one out now for Bataglia, who works into this fourth inning. In between innings, the shortstop Wilbur was at third base as he was coming off the field. And home plate umpire Bob Charmer was having extended conversation with him. As Kate Edwards looks at the first pitch strike. And no doubt it had something to do with Gallant hitting him unintentionally with the pitch. I, I don't know what happened on Wilbur's side, but definitely turned into a spirited game. 0-1 pitch. Edwards wraps it in the air to short. A step back, and then a step in and towards the alley. The catch is made. And that's quickly two down. So now that is six straight and 10 of the last 11 retired by Bataglia. Well, something in addition to the score that's on the field right now and on the board got into this Southern dugout. I don't know if it had anything to do with that or not. The uh, 
the hit by pitch, but a little Sunday spark there for the Jaguars. First pitch was a strike to Cruz. In the rear, one assist, unassisted is first time up. Pitch a swing and a miss. 0 and 2. They play him deep in left and center a few steps towards the alley. The 0-2 pitch, low and outside. One ball, two strikes. Wind by Battaglia. Big fella brings the arm over the top and misses for a ball. He wanted that one. Two-two pitch. This is golfed down in a short center. Hanging up is for Armstrong and lands in front of him. A base hit. A little wedge shot for Antonio to get on base with two down. Cruz's third hit of the series. Here bring, brings up Walsh now. Flew out to right his first time up. Now the set. And the pitch. Walsh takes for a strike. 0-1 oh to Connor from Neesville, Florida. Duncan College on campus. He's a freshman. The pitch. Low end in. Al's not only trying to go three games over 500 on the season. Now they need a comeback win. But looking to go to three and two on Sundays. One and one, the kick from a tag of the pitch, swing and a miss. One and two to count. Last Sunday night, the Owls had that win against K-State, one to nothing. Entertaining one, this is shaping up to be an entertaining one, one-two pitch inside two and two the tackle dangling that right arm now he comes to runner behind him at first base the 2-2 pitch Walsh takes high the Owls And that Sunday one against K-State. Before that, they had their troubles against Texas State. Lost that one 9-1. to one. one against Houston Baptist. 3-2 pitch. Runner going. Walsh swings and misses. No runs on one hit. Al Strand won. 5-1. They trail Southern here, going to the fifth from Learfield IMG College. Rockets fans, AT&T Sportsnet is your home for everything Rockets. Stay up to date with your favorite team and follow ATT Sportsnet SW on social media for exclusive content. Hear from Haley Griffin and Matt Bullard for insight on what's going on around the team. I think he's going to be really, really good for the Houston Rockets. Plus new episodes of Rockets All Access. Turn to AT&T Sportsnet from pregame to postgame. Watch every game only on AT&T Sportsnet. What do you do when you need safe, reliable team transportation? You go WIN. WIN Transportation is one of the largest group transportation providers in Texas, a leader in charters, shuttles, and special events of all sizes. Five people or 5,000. WIN offers customizable team transportation with a wide range of motor coaches, many buses and vans. So, for safe, reliable team transportation, do like the owls and go WIN. Book at GoWIN.com. G-O-W-Y-N-N-E.com. Oh, 
Al is proud again to be partnering with IBEW, International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 716, lighting up Rice University in Houston for over 100 years. Southern five runs on five hits, no errors. They have left three. Rice one run on four hits, no errors. They have left three. Starting this fifth inning now, a jazzed up Sunday here. First pitch to Burgos is a called strike. Gallant's second full inning of work. Came on and allowed a run on a hit and hit a bat of that last frame. This pitch, a ball, fastball variety, one and one. Gallant both feet close together on that mound, casting that shadow beneath him. Slight step back, kicks up and fires home. The foul ball back, make it a one and two count. One and two. Here's the kick. Pitch called strike three. They're whipping around the infield. Burgos goes down for the second time. He's one for three. That's Gallant's second K. The 36th strikeout for the Owls staff here this weekend. Five to one, Southern leads Rice in this Sunday getaway day. The pitch, low and out. Ball one to Xavier Moore, Z-A-V-I-E-R. Strike out in the second, RBI base knock in the third. I guess by true definitions, it's not a getaway day. The 1-0, -oh. high, more of a minor league term. I guess I'm trying to feel like a big league announcer or pro announcer now we do have one of those coming up have you checked the schedule coming up well, it's, you gotta stay in the moment you know but 2-0 pitch carved high into right field Garibay shaded perfectly now tap dances a little over to his left and towards the line to make the grab for the out hopefully Galan has settled down here we have a 9.30 central time first pitch at Old Dominion in that Sunday game. Flown in and out of Norfolk many times for Rice football, basketball, baseball games. Well, Old Dominion's been in the conference, what, the last six years or so? Guess hard to get the flight, assuming we're flying out of uh, Norfolk there. This pitch to Olison is fouled high to the right side. Knighting running towards the dugout, saying stay away. It's well out of play. There was a parliament of owls there putting up their hands saying, do not come near here. It's it's out of play. Gallant had gone, what's that? I mean, 40 yards or so, a little 40-yard, three-quarter speed jog over there. Knighting's a close cousin to the uh, his infield mate there. And Edwards getting his jersey dirty. Oh, one pitch comes high and in. One ball and one strike. My point being, Nighting's always going to give it the old college try. One ball and one strike here. Rice trailing 5-1 to one in a spirited Sunday game. The pitch swing and a miss. Now one and two. Wind picking up a bit. Still those uh, flags and half staff for the Atlanta shooting this last week blowing around. We have more of that south wind coming in. More of a southeast wind. 1-2 pitch. Hard rocket off the left of the mound. Brought up some dirt and then goes into center field. Hollison chopping his feet around that first base bag. He gets a two-out single. That's the sixth base knock of the day for the Jaguars. Bubba Thompson digs in now. Here's the set and the pitch to Thompson. A ball down. 
one and oh. Five to one, Rice trailing here, top of the fifth. Now the set, the pitch, curves for a strike. One and one to count. Gallant from the stretch, brings it back, comes in, swing and a miss. It's breaking ball for Gallant. Could be a right on right change there. Always tough to see some of the depth of the pitches from this angle, but. The kick, the one two pitch. Smacked hard to short, skips out to Hughes, underhand toss to Edwards to force out Olison there. No runs on one hit in the inning. Five to one, Southern leads Rice halfway through it. We go to the bottom of the fifth here. This is Rice Baseball from Learfield IMG College. An HL star, Matt Martin for American Humane. I've had my fair share of bruises and injuries. But for many who put their lives on the line every day, it's not always the injuries you can see that hurt the most. Every single day, 184 veterans are diagnosed with post-traumatic stress. When medications and therapy don't help, professionally trained service dogs can. American Humane has created a free guide to help veterans obtain these life-saving animals. For help, please go to AmericanHumane.org. I'm getting older. Do I need to worry about falling? Yes, you do. Each year, one in four people 65 and older will experience a fall, and many will be serious. The majority of falls happen at home, so remove things that could make you trip and install handrails to keep you steady. To learn more about the steps you can take to help prevent a fall, please talk to your doctor. You can also visit aarpfoundation.org or medicaremadeclear.com slash falls. This message was brought to you by United Healthcare and AARP Foundation. There you hear the deep voiced man, Will Carp, Hal Hughes, and Justin Dunlap to do the swinging here against Batagula who has been pretty sharp. We don't have a record of his game logs or his recent starts. Check their website, they might have that broken down, but yeah, I guess they did have it for their Friday hurler. Mr. Allen, first pitch is a ball, excuse me, called strike to Carp. Will a single stole second and was stranded back in the second. Wine for Batagula, and the pitch is punched just right of the mound, snagged at that 3 o'clock position by the big fella. And Batagula jogged a few steps, an underhand toss to Burgos for the putout, one down. You know, you can see why. This is me reasoning it out out loud. I'm not saying I have confirmation for this from Coach Crenshaw. Um, but the way Batagula has pitched, it's a term called pitching off that it could be that he felt he had a great chance in this Sunday matchup. This pitch is high for a ball. Because originally he was, and what I think, again, not knowing the inner workings of, of Southern and just met Coach Crenshaw a couple times here this weekend. 1-0 pitch. The pitch a strike. Hal Hughes up here squared up at 1-1. One one. He grounded out to short. But we see it a lot in conference play where guys will pitch their better pitchers a Saturday or Sunday. 1-1 one, one pitch, strike. Now 1-2. and two. And this is all a compliment on the uh, southern side. The spectacular does not look like your uh, normal Sunday starter. 1-2 pitch, Hughes lofts this one in the air to left. It'll stay in the park for Smith to square it up and make the catch to his right two down it's now 10 straight retired for Batangula excuse me 10 of the last 11 he didn't allow that cruise to that single last inning and here's Justin Dunlap 
Five to one, Southern leads Rice here. Bottom of the fifth inning. The pitch. Punch to third. Backhanded waist high. Moore sweeps the throw over to Burgos and a quick one, two, and three inning through five. Five to one, Southern leads Rice from Learfield, IMG College. All right, baseball fans. This season, Carbach Brewing wants to remind you to enjoy a locally crafted Love Street Coach Style Blonde or Hopadillo IPA while you watch your Rice Owls take the field. And after the game, check us out at the brewery where we're open seven days a week. Grab a bite to eat in the restaurant, relax in the beer garden, or take an informational tour. So crack open a cold one, root on your rice owls, and follow all the action at carbachbrewing.com. Carbach Brewing, Houston, Texas. What do you do when you need safe, reliable corporate transportation? You go WIND. WIND Transportation is one of the largest group transportation providers in Texas, a leader in charters, shuttles, and special events of all sizes. Five people or 5,000. WIND offers customizable team transportation with a wide range of motor coaches, mini buses, and vans. So, for safe, reliable corporate transportation, do like the owls and go WIND. Book at GoWIND.com. G-O-W-Y-N-N-E dot com. Third inning for Galan here. Top of the six, Brandon Green, Quincy Smith, and Jalen Armstrong, the seven, eight, nine hitters. Southern five and Rice one. Check that Wyndham Houston Medical Center out of town report. Glancing at the scoreboard, it's a full one. Make sure I have the right day, smarty pants. There you go. Click on Sunday. <laughs> I would just picture myself starting that and saying, wait a second, these scores sound familiar. <laughs> Gallant, the slow rock, rears that arm back and comes inside a fastball. Misses a ball. Green, a freshman from Chicago. At the plate now, their third catcher in as many days. Walk in the fourth. Strikeout looking to the third, looking for his first hit of the season, the 1-0 pitch. It's a ball up. Al's upcoming opponent is UTSA. They're in the bottom of the fourth inning at a &M Corpus Christi, looking for the sweep. UTSA leads 7-0. Former Al's assistant, Patrick Hallmark, there for the Roadrunners. As Green puts a stroke into this one, bouncing down the line, just in play. He gets that first hit of the season. A leadoff double bringing up Smith. Left field number 20, Quincy Smith, the second. Southern five and Rice one. Two balls and no strikes. Excuse me, uh, obviously the first one. <laughs> That'd be a weird custom to adopt. Not a beer league softball game. You start with a one and one count. Coming up is Knighting. Como up on the grass with his back to the third base bag. A kick, a bluff of a throw back to second. It prompts a slide from Green. And the chatter pops up again for the Southern dugout. The thing I noticed during basketball season and here's some during baseball season. We're much farther away from the action. The 2-0 pitch bunted straight back to the mound. Bobbled, Gallant, no play. Rushed a bit, he knew he had the speed of Smith darting down the line. That's the pressure speed puts on you. And that's an error. Smith will still probably be credited with a sacrifice there. I'll check. Workings of the official scorer, John Sullivan, here in a second. They're at the corners now with no outs, and these same situations apply here. They're at the corners, and this could be a 
an instructed visit to go out for. Carp to go out and talk to Gallant. And then Coach Braga might come out. There we go. Right on cue, Coach Braga takes a step up the top as... Again, that pesky uh, little pop-up tent in the way. Can't see in the in the bullpen. And Coach Bragg has been making more of uh, the pitching visits and the changes recently. So past you might know the uh, indication of this is just a talk or a change. But a lot. But they chat there now. But I think they just started warming up there in the bullpen. Getting word. Johnny on the spot. Dalton Wood there down in the bullpen for the Rice House. And home plate umpire Michael Grisham allowing this one to go on a while. He goes out there and They'll join the talk and it's broken up there. So wood warming up. Now starting pitcher was Deskins. He went three innings, four hits, four runs. The seven strikeouts he had were all in succession to start the game. Or his outing. Gallant now two innings, two strikeouts, a walk. Three hits in a run. We're at the corners now for Armstrong, so no doubt. Pitch is swung on, pulled hard to first. Knighting knocks it down, found, finds the baseball. The run comes in to score. He steps on the bag. Armstrong get an RBI there, three unassisted. No one another. I don't know what other uh, opponents think about Armstrong there, but play on my team. He, he's the guy that makes things happen there. He brings Green home. And it's now 6-1 to one in favor of Southern. Smith going up to second base. Check at second in the pitch. Popped up by Wilbur into right center. Walsh giving way to Garibay. Garibay then will launch it down to third base. Short hops Como. Gets the out. Two away. Here's Spears. RBI single, fly out, and a strikeout this game. Spears here, the two hole hitter, Burgos on deck. Umpires finally decide they'll shift around. Two outs in the inning. Spears, the fifth batter to come to the plate. Gallant checks that second to pitch. In for a strike. 0 oh and 1. Gallant stands straight up, checks second. Now fires it in. Pitch a ball in. Evens it up at one and one. Check at second, the pitch. Swung on, grounded to short. Hughes inhales that ground ball. Launches over to first base for the put out. That'll do it, but another run comes in on a hit. They strand one in scoring position. Six to one, Southern leads Rice. Bottom of the sixth year from Learfield IMG College. Big trip on the horizon? Before you depart, you gotta park. The parking spot is a simpler, easier way to navigate airport parking, and you can save when you book online. You're guaranteed a spot, and we even pick you up at your trunk in our yellow and black spotted shuttles and take you straight to the terminal. Parking and saving come full circle at the parking spot. The parking spot, proud spot 
sponsor of Rice University. Visit theparkingspot.com to reserve your spot today. At Smart Financial, we think your banking experience should feel like a home run. Since 1934, we have prided ourselves on providing hassle-free services with a game plan that focuses on people, not profits. If you live, work, or go to school at or around Rice University, visit smartcu.org to join our family and become a part of the winning team. Smart Financial, proud sponsor of Rice Athletics. Federally insured by the NCUA. Six to one Southern, they lead Rice. Leading off for your Owls, first baseman, number 32, Bradley Knighty. Knighty going to lead off for the good guys. Knighting, Como, and Garibay, the two, three, and four hitters. Batagula, he has looked sharp out there for the Jags. Kicks up, righty comes home, and the pitch a strike. It sounds basic, but he's just so good at, at mixing his pitches, and obviously the location has been vital. 0-1 pitch, bounce wide to first, backhanded stab, and Burgos tosses to the uh, lumbering Batanglia over there to first base. Moves well for 6-3, 240. 1-3 put out, bringing up Braden Como. He's one for two. Batanglia five and a third now, three strikeouts, no walks. Four hits. Allowed that one run. Gomo takes a couple of deep breaths and steps in that right-handed box. The Owls on the wrong side of this 6-1 to one score. The pitch is called a strike. Brayden brought home the Owls' only run back in the first inning. He's also skied out to center. Garibay on deck. Wind by Batagula. The pitch is high and away a ball. Joseph Batagula the third. Lafayette, Louisiana. Combo from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Bounce to the right side, so their hometowns separated by just a, a few miles. Double check on my preseason questionnaire for Braden. See if they have any connection. The one-two pitch looped into right center field, plops for a base hit. Como very wide turn, chopping his feet there at first base. That's actually the Owls' fifth hit of the day. They've got four on the board. One ball. Garibay stepping in here. They shift around to play him in right field. One on and one out. Spectacular checking over at first. Third baseman more wide of the bag. It's the left-handed hitter. Garibay takes strike one. Guy, a fly out and a ground out today. Middle infield shading for two. Thompson a couple steps in. Wilbur stepping a half in at short. The pitch pulled right side. Into right field, a base knock. Got out there so quickly, Como had to put the brakes on at second base rather abruptly. That's your word, Good to see Garibay get his fifth hit of the series. Mm -hmm. 
as now have a pitching chat coming on the mound. Six to one, Southern leads. Batagula attended Lafayette High School. Played for the Lions. State chat there. Hometown is Orange County, California. His greatest athletic experience, he lists. Oh, by the way, at the bottom of the notes, is going to the Little League World Series. So they've got two Little League World Series guys from different teams as Jolly Hendricks was on that Monet Davis Philadelphia team obviously a while back. And no other info is given but Batagula. As now the Owls have a pinch hitter here in Long. Long coming in for Edwards as Justin takes for a ball. So what this does, Long will probably come in to catch and Carp will go to second. Six to one, Southern leads Rice. As now there's a conference at the mound. If uh, Coach Crenshaw comes out again, he'll obviously have to come out. But yeah, I'm looking at his. Uh, went to Baton Rouge Community College. Got the same same bio there. Favorite food is crawfish. One ball and no strikes. Metaglia sets. The pitch. Strike. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. 2011. That makes me feel really old. Played for the Arabian American Little League team. Now the set. Two runners on as Long watches this one down low for a ball. Now the one, the next step I take is to see where that's located because he's from California. I don't know if that was from Louisiana where he pitched on that or played on that Little League World Series team. Pitch curves in for a strike to Long. Well, that's not right either, Heath. I promise I've done this before. This pitch. Grounded right side. Gets into right field. A base hit. Como coming around third. He will score. Standing up ahead of that throw that bounces in. Pinch hit for Long. Now they're at the corner. Zow's trying to get something going here. Here comes Antonio Cruz. Al's threatening here. Two on, one out, a run in. Six to two, Southern leads Rice now. Cruz one for two today. He's got Walsh on deck. Here's the pitch. Cruz watches it go up for a ball.
The hole, the kick. They're at the corners, and this pitch is pulled foul. Even old sure hands, Paul Janish can't get it. Vitaglia coming to the pitch. Looped into right center field. This will gap and bring home a couple of runs. Coming around third, Garibay will hold. Actually, they'll hold long there at third base, but a RBI double. For Antonio Cruz. That was their third look here at Batagula. Have him at second and third now, and that will do it for him. One down in this inning. He can win the game, he cannot lose it. I'll tell you about the new young guy coming out of the bullpen for the Jaguars. Just a second, Al's threatening here. It's now six to three, Southern over Rice. In this bottom of the six from Learfield IMG College. Today, millions of people all across America are building a life in recovery from addiction and mental illness. Helping themselves and helping each other with friends, family, and community lending their strength and support. Join the Voices for Recovery. Together, we are stronger. For 24-hour free and confidential information and treatment referral for mental and substance use disorders, for you or someone you know, call 1-800-662-HELP. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Millions plan for retirement online, estimate your future benefits, apply for retirement, and manage your benefits all from the comfort of your home. And give yourself the freedom to do what you want offline. Social Security's online services help put you in control with secure access to your information anytime, anywhere. Allowing you to spend more time with family, friends, or simply just enjoying the day. Social Security, securing today and tomorrow. See what you can do online at socialsecurity.gov. The members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 716 built the things that make Rice University and Houston great, and we want you to join us. Build a better career. To find out more, visit IBEW716.net. What do you do when you need safe, reliable church transportation? You go when. Wynn Transportation is one of the largest group transportation providers in Texas, a leader in charters, shuttles, and special events of all sizes. Five people or 5,000. Wynn offers customizable church transportation with a wide range of motor coaches, mini buses, and vans. So, for safe, reliable church transportation, do like the owls and go win. Book at gowin.com. G-O-W-Y-N-N-E.com. New pitcher John Queensy from Franklin, Louisiana. Usually don't do this, but uh, I guess I did mention it yesterday, but they don't have a uh, pronunciation guide. So if you have any uh, pronunciation updates, you can update us at Rice House Voice. By the way, shout out. Shameless plug on the march to 1,000. Shout out Brian Walsh for the follow. We're getting there. 11 away. You too can help a uh, struggling social media broadcaster. Tying one at the plate, Walsh here. The set. Connor today is 0 for 2 in the pitch. Looks up high for a ball. G-U-I-E-N-Z-E. -E. Queensy. We'll see. One ball and no strikes. I before E, except after C. And the ERA of 653 this year. He pitches from the left side. 
kicks and fires in and Walsh fouls it back. 0-2 oh record. It's the fourth time he's pitched this year. First of the series. Well, no surprise what kept Southern in this one. It's Batagula won, but cut down on the free passes. Didn't have any. One ball in, one strike. Rice trailing 6-3 to three here in the bottom of the sixth. You got two runs in this frame. The pitch a strike to Walsh. So then the corner's up. Bur Burgos, the first baseman, even the bag. Third baseman Moore has been coming in on the grass. Now he shifts back even with the bag. The pitch comes in. He moves up. Runners at second and third. One-two pitch. Check at second. Pulled left side. Foul. Six to three, Southern leads. Carp on deck for the Owls. Owls have long at third, Cruz up at second in the pitch. Down. Try to break in ball there, two A and two. Al's got two of the runs they needed back. Good start looking for uh, a couple more on one swing from Walsh here. By the way, hey, I'm sure the Walsh connection there with that Twitter mention I just had. 2-2 pitch. Goes in the air the other way. This is going back and back into his left. Spears will make this catch. Turning his back to the infield and twirls it back in, but a sacrifice fly. Productive out there for Walsh. It brings home... Long, it's now six to four. Cruz down to third on that as well. Here's Will Carp with two away, runner at third base. Three runs in the inning for the Owls. Six to four. Set by Quincy. The pitch. Bunts it left side. Fires to first. It's picked up by Quincy and Carp deciding to bunt there. He gets thrown out. 1 3. Owls get three runs on four hits in the inning. They leave one in scoring position. It's 6 to 4. Southern over. Rice here going to the seventh from Learfield IMG College. When severe weather causes telecom network outages, the FCC recommends that you call 911 only when necessary and limit non-emergency calls. Avoid repetitive redialing to minimize network congestion. Try texting if a call doesn't go through. Conserve cell phone power and turn off your phone when not in use. If evacuated, forward landline calls to your cell phone and use your outgoing message to update your status. For more info, go to FCC.gov slash emergency. Hey, it's me, your cell phone. We need to talk about something, something serious. I know you love me. I know you like using me wherever you are, but I feel like this isn't working out when you're driving. I know you may think that it's possible to focus both on me and the road, but I just don't feel the same way. I think we should spend time away from each other when you're driving. It's for the best. Visit StopTextStopRex.org. A message brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, Project Yellow Light, and the Ad Council. Big trip on the horizon? Before you depart, you gotta park. The parking spot is a simpler, easier way to navigate airport parking, and you can save when you book online. You're guaranteed a spot, and we even pick you up at your trunk in our yellow and black spotted shuttles and take you straight to the terminal. Parking and saving come full circle at the parking spot. The parking spot, proud sponsor of Rice University. Visit theparkingspot.com to reserve your spot today. Rockets fans, AT&T Sportsnet is your home for everything Rockets. 
Stay up to date with your favorite team and follow ATT Sportsnet SW on social media for exclusive content. Hear from Kaylee Griffin and Matt Bullard for insight on what's going on around the team. I think he's going to be really, really good for the Houston Rockets. Plus new episodes of Rockets All Access. Turn to AT&T Sportsnet from pregame to postgame. Watch every game only on AT&T Sportsnet. Putnam Title Partners pitching change. Dalton Wood coming on to throw for the Blue and Gray. Wood 6'5", 240, sophomore from Katy, Second Baptist High School. He will start out of the stretch. And he'll face Burgos Moore and Olison, the three, four, and five hitters. Wind, McBride comes in, first pitch. Breaking ball for a strike. Nasty pitch. It'll be low 90s. Six to four, Rice trails Southern here. As we begin the seventh inning, this pitch, grounded hard, back a third, diving towards the line. Como picks it up, throws, though, knocked down by Knighting. Brought him just up the line. And he stops that from going back and assuming the way it bounced. That all that foul territory here at Reckling Park. That would have been an easy extra base for Burgos. Ruled it an infield hit. Here comes Moore. Good stop though by Coma. Now Moore, one for three on the day. Kicking in this pitch. He shows the bunt. He offered at it. It's a strike. Michael Grisham, very emphatic of that when he pointed and said, You win. Set by Wood. The pitch. Grounded to short. Maybe too slow rolling for a double play, but Hughes goes to second for one on the first. Throw brought him off the bag, so he is safe. He had a collision at second base, and Coach Bragg he heading out to check on Carp there. By the way, who was that new second baseman? Now Coach Braggett talking with the uh, umpire out there, Mike Garcia. About the nature of that slide. Could be one conversation. Trainer Adrian Ramon was quick to get out there too. Should have pulled up the uh, YouTube stream. I don't have the benefit of looking at that one again, but must have been some pretty hard contact. Carpet Gamer, he'll stay in there. Runner at first base is Moore. Fielder's choice there. And now Bob Chermo yelling at Matt Braga. Matt Braga coming out. He is incensed. They are going at it in between the first baseline and the dugout. Remember yesterday they had a, uh, a moment where Coach Bragg was yelling from the dugout across the way to, I think it was the nature of one of the uh, foul balls. It turned out it was a foul ball, but Coach wasn't happy with the, the way that they didn't make it known what the call was. Six to four, Southern leads Rice. Coach Braga, most fired up I have seen him in a game. At an umpire. Wood holds high, runner goes, pitch. Golfed high into short center. Hughes backing up. And he will make the grab. Two down. The 
That's Bubba Thompson. Now Coach Braga coming out again and talking to Bob Charma a couple of times. Righty, righty here. The pitch. A strike. Emotional Sunday game. It's been this way for a few innings now. Since Southern got on the board and, and took the lead that they have not relinquished since. It's pitch down and outside a ball. One ball and one strike. Runner at first base is Moore. Thompson here is 0 for 3, struck out twice. The pitch. Grounded us short. Hughes goes the short distance over to Carp at second base, and that will do it. No runs, one hit in the inning. They strand one. Six to four, Southern leads Rice. Middle of the seventh, stretch it here. An emotional Sunday finale here from Learfield IMG College. Uh-oh, Brad's buzzed. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's starting with the woots. <laughs> and now a speech. I just want to say that friendship is about heart. Heart and brain. Who's with me? Good thing is, he knows when he's buzzed. And my brain is saying, when it's time to go home, somebody call me a ride. Love that guy. Me too. Know your buzzed warning signs? Call for a ride when it's time to go home. Buzz driving is drunk driving. A message from Nitsa and the Ad Council. <laughs> Welcome to the Orphan Diaries. Here's the founder of Food for Orphans, Gary Van Dyke. Ken doesn't know how old he is. He guesses at around seven. His whole life has been centered on finding food. You see, he lives at the dump and he's never been anywhere else. You can find Ken walking in a decaying landfill of rotting garbage, plastic bags, and shards of broken glass. To many, Ken and children like him are invisible. But they're not, are they? For more information, visit www.foodfororphans.org. Deep in the heart of Houston, deep in the heart of Texas. I'm J.P. Heath. Hope that this Sunday afternoon is finding you and yours well. Rice Owls in the uh, Southern Jaguars. One that has turned into a good one here as the Owls had the early 1-0 lead on a Como RBI. And then six unanswered runs by Southern. Four of those coming in the third inning. Burgos a two-run double. And the Owls just had a three-run bottom of the sixth frame. Long pinch hit, two RBI, single. And then a wall sack fly. A tense one for sure. Guinzi is out. Southern has a new pitcher. Ozoa. I don't think I finished a thought I had earlier. Not the first, won't be the last. As Walsh, excuse me, Hughes lifts up this high fly ball down the left field line in foul territory. Shortstop Wilbur going over to glove it. One pitch and one out. Hughes is retired. But during the pandemic in, in basketball, we didn't have crowds for any home game. For most road games, we did. It's very is limited, but you got to hear a lot more of the action. And for baseball, they put the cap at about a thousand. Ten twelve the attendance today. As this pitch is a ball low. Dunlap now for the Owls. He is one for three this afternoon. But you get to hear a lot more, and then amp up the intensity and the volume of some of the. Words going back and forth between the teams and the coaches and the uh, umpires. You can hear a lot more of it. 
That pitch was a strike to Dunny, and it's one and one. Talked to Dunn that briefly before the game, said likes that leadoff spot. Takes this 1-1 pitch outside. Now two balls and one strike. Azoa, the third pitcher of the game. The kick, the 2-1 pitch. Lifted high and short right field. Backing up is Thompson staring into the sun, but coming behind him is Spears to make the grab. Thirteen different pitchers in this weekend set now for Southern. And maybe that Bradley Knighting walk-up music will put everybody back in a, in a good mood. Getting two tens here for a Sunday. I don't mind, though. 6-4 Rice down here as Knighting takes this pitch for a strike. So Gwensey came on, got those last two outs, finished uh, two-thirds an inning scoreless. Now Azoa's gotten two quick outs here to start here. This pitch is a ball down. Enrique Azoa does not have a decision on the year. He's pitched three and two-thirds innings from the stats we are given. The wind of the 1-1, low and outside. Azoa wearing number 48 on that Navy jersey, 5'7", a buck 70 from uh, Bayamon, Puerto Rico. Why the 2-1, his pitch is high. Appeal down to third, he did not go. It's a Southern team in desperate need for a win. And understand their excitement and their owls want to finish off that sweep. The 3 1 pitch, Knighting pops it up into left field. And it towards the line is Smith, makes the grab. That'll do it, and Southern is jacked up here. They get that out to end the inning. Rice goes down in order, six to four. Southern leads Rice as we head to the eighth year from Learfield IMG College. When an unexpected injury or illness occurs, it's important to know where to go for quality care close to home. Houston Methodist Emergency Care Centers and Emergency Departments offer a full range of care 24-7, 365 days a year for patients of all ages. We are taking extra precautions to keep you safe. Isolating suspected coronavirus patients, screening all visitors, requiring masks, and enforcing social distancing. Visit HoustonMethodist.org slash ER to find a location near you. The members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Local 716 built the things that make Rice University and Houston great, and we want you to join us. Build a better career. To find out more, visit IBEW716.net. Dalton Wood staying out there for the Owls. As Southern is going to have the bottom three guys in the order. Brandon Green leads off, followed by Quincy Smith and Jalen Armstrong. Happy Sunday to one and all. Six to four, Southern leads Rice. Imagine we have anxious rest of this one coming up for fans on both sides. Southern looking to get back in the win column. They've lost five in a row and six of seven. Al's trying to get their first sweep of 2021 and, and the winning ways continuing into uh, Aggieland Tuesday. This pitch shows a bunt. It's called a strike. 0-1. Wood always out of the stretch out there. Big tall Texan casting that big tall shadow. Oh and one. 
Play him straight up in the outfield. The pitch. Breaking ball inside. One and one the count. Still see some fans milling about on the hill in left field. Some shadows starting to cast onto the field to play. The 1-1 pitch. Strike. You got the shadows from the players most of the game, but here now you see the light stanchion in right field, and they're the, by that new roost area. I say new, it's his third year. 1-2 pitch, low and outside. Two balls and two strikes. Wind swirling out around a little bit out there in left field. You got that big view, that great Texas flag on the right of the three. Two and two, Wood high hole, kicks up the left knee in the 2-2 pitch, called strike three. Green down looking. First strikeout for Southern since back in the fifth inning. Wood the third of three outs pitchers in this game. In case you did not hear us at the start, we forgive you, but Deskins struck out the first seven batters that he faced. Ended up three innings pitched. Southern got six straight guys on, and Deskins did not get out of the third. First pitch is a strike to Smith, a freshman from Los Angeles. With the kick and this pitch hit in the air to left short left field, the shortest of left fields as it barely got out of the infield as Hughes reaches up to make the grab. Is the wind tricking me or I just missed it? Two down now for the nine-man Armstrong. Al's coming up in the eighth inning in this 6-4 deficit. They've got Como, Garibay, and Edwards. This series history between the two programs did not start until Friday. We had that first pitch from Blake Brogdon. This pitch is high to Armstrong. But this third game of the, the weekend set and of the uh, series history been a, an emotional one. 1-0 one -oh pitch, eight ball. Now two and no. Wood kicks up, fires home, and pitch misses letter high. Three balls in, no strikes. Got some fans milling about, some good old ballpark grub. Some nachos, sodas, some snow cones. 3-0 pitch, misses to Armstrong. Four wide ones to put him on, and now it brings up Wilbur. Stop number eight, Judah Wilbur. Wilbur walked, hit by a pitch. Strikeout, flyout. He is 0 for 2 today. 6 to 4, Southern leads Rice here in this eighth inning. This game on Wood right now. I always want him to go the rest of the way, I'd imagine. Here's the pitch. It's up high, long, throws back down behind the runner, sliding his Armstrong. He's ahead of that nighting tag. One ball in, no strikes. Fourth game of the year for Wood. Didn't tell you coming in, but he's 1-0. Oh. Won his last decision. Came out of the, the pin late against, or really middle of the game against Kansas State. 1-1 one, one now to Wilbur. Pitch a strike. But Wood went four innings of scoreless baseball, four strikeouts and one walk against the Wildcats. One one pitch. Runner was going. Pitch missed a ball. And Armstrong up there at second represents some insurance there for the Jaguars. Wood doesn't do much as far as a uh, in-between pitch routine. He just gets it, holds it high, 
They're waiting for a sign comes two and the pitch comes in. Ground to third, spearing it on the ground is Como. Over to first base, they get the out. No runs, no hit. They leave one, six to four. Southern leads Rice as we go to the bottom of the eighth from Learfield IMG College. I'm getting older. Do I need to worry about falling? Yes, you do. Each year, one in four people 65 and older will experience a fall, and many will be serious. The majority of falls happen at home, so remove things that could make you trip and install handrails to keep you steady. To learn more about the steps you can take to help prevent a fall, please talk to your doctor. You can also visit aarpfoundation.org or medicaremadeclear.com slash falls. This message was brought to you by United Healthcare and AARP Foundation. Adopt US Kids presents what to expect when you're expecting a teenager learning the lingo. Jelly. Jelly adjective. Jelly is a shorter, better way to say jealous. As in, Chloe, I am like so jelly of your unicorn phone case. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, AdoptUSKids, and the Ad Council. Baseball. Rice Owls will have Braden Como, followed by Guy Garibay, Justin Long. Six to four, Southern leads Rice in this bottom of the eighth inning. Owls a one nothing lead, six unanswered by Southern, and then three runs in the sixth inning. Southern's Ozoa stays out there on the mound. Feet spread apart, breaks into the line, kicks up the leg and fires in. And Como lines it into left field, hangs up for Smith to reach and make that catch for one pitch and one out. Two away, one, one down. Owls down two in this game. There's Garibay with number two at the plate here. Garibay one for three. Fly out, ground out, single, and scored one of those three Owls runs in the sixth. It's the lefty hitting Garibay more wide at third. Pitch, ball down. Second baseman Thompson out of the outfield grass. And the shortstop, Wilbur, has shifted over to outfield straightaway deep and right. The 1 0. Strike to Garibay. Nobody up in the Owls pin. Wood will be out there for the ninth. Nobody up in the Southern pin either. 1-1 one, one pitch is drilled into right field. A base hit for Garibay. This could be like we either mentioned Texas State or mentioned Friday, or maybe both, about Garibay. His numbers starting to even up. As Garibay now 6 for 11 in this in this series came in hitting what was it 217 you just knew that that would not hold of course you do have the asterisk of first pitch too long is slapped hard the other way might have gotten a piece of uh, Trevor Putzig or did he get it out of the way did carry him there in the right field Former Tennessee Tech star. Still showing he's got the moves. One on and one out. Tying run at the plate. The young guy long. The pitch. Strike. Six to four, Southern leads Rice. Bottom of the eighth inning. Appreciate you watching in and on Al's YouTube today and listening in. RiceHouse.com, the TuneIn app, Game Day app. However you choose, cruise on deck for the Al's. 
quick step out for Long. Now he steps back in. 0 and 2. Runner bluffs going. Pitch inside a ball to Long. One ball and two strikes. Zoa holds, fires in, and this is hit right in front of the plate. The catcher, Green, has a play to go up to second to get one. Thompson's relay to first, not in time to get the double play. Michael Grisham quick to come out there and signal that that one was fair. It was hit five or six feet in front of the plate on the third base side. Long at first base now. Got 2-4 on that put out at second base. Two away now. Al's down to their final four outs. The pitch, ball down. Here to Cruz, one and nothing. Six to four, Southern, bottom of the eighth inning. Cruz has also put together a good series for himself. He is four for eight. Punches it very high into center. Armstrong camping under it, and he will make that catch. No runs on a hit. The Owls leave another. Six to four, Southern leads Rice. We head to the ninth. This is Rice Baseball from Learfield IMG College. All right, baseball fans. This season, Carbach Brewing wants to remind you to enjoy a locally crafted Love Street Coast Style Blonde or Hopadillo IPA while you watch your Rice Owls take the field. And after the game, check us out at the brewery where we're open seven days a week. Grab a bite to eat in the restaurant, relax in the beer garden, or take an informational tour. So crack open a cold one, root on your rice owls, and follow all the action at carbachbrewing.com. Carbach Brewing, Houston, Texas. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield IMG College under the broadcasting rights granted by Rice University. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the express written consent of Rice University and Learfield IMG College. Announcers are provided by Learfield IMG College and approved by Rice University. What do you do when you need safe, reliable team transportation? You go WIN. WIN Transportation is one of the largest group transportation providers in Texas, a leader in charters, shuttles, and special events of all sizes. Five people or 5,000. WIN offers customizable team transportation with a wide range of motor coaches, many buses and vans. So, for safe, reliable team transportation, do like the owls and go WIN. Book at GoWIN.com. G-O-W-Y-N-N-E.com. Tremaine Spears leading off for the Southern Jaguars. Rice House trailing here six to four. Begin the ninth inning as this pitch is a strike. For Southern, six runs, eight hits. They've stranded seven. Rice, four runs, nine hits in error. They've left five. Pitch, check swing, Spears. Down, evens up at one and one. Two, three, and four batters. Spears, Burgos, and Moore. Wood has been solid for the Owls coming out of the pin. This pitch, a strike. One and two, Spears definitely showed his disgust on that one. Owls have been hit and miss, I guess pun intended there, out of the uh, pitching side today. This is screened hard left side in between Como and Hughes for a base hit. Spears' second hit of the day. Lead off variety, so let's see how Coach Pitchdown plays this with a two-run lead in the ninth inning. They've been very aggressive all day. Let's see if they keep with that later innings here. 
Here's Burgos, two RBI double and a single today. He is two for four. He is five for 13 in this series, their leading hitter. At least their most hits, the pitch. Swing and a tip into the mid of the catcher long. First strike one. But Deskin started to kind of fill the background of that, to shade it in just to give you a little more context. Deskin struck out the first seven guys he faced, but then allowed the next five guys to reach. And then he got out of the third, but then Gallant came on for two run ball over three innings. And Deskin's this pitch is grounded to third. Como goes to second for one. On to first, the double play. They empty the bases. 5-4-3. Now's turn their first double play of the game, their 16th of the season. Here's Xavier Moore, third baseman. One for four, RBI single. Jaguars got four of those runs back in the third inning. Wood holds high, kicks up, fires in. The pitch swung on and missed. Oh, and one. Straight up in the outfield, infield as well. Two down outs trying to get to the bottom of the ninth. Bottom three of the order due up. Walsh, Carp, and Hughes. Wood, middle of that pitching slam. Holds it very high, those long blue sleeves. The 0-1 pitch. Screams this one high in the air to left center field. Hanging out, Walsh can't even get down as it bounces and he cuts it off as he glides into that raising cane sign of that green outfield wall and that canes banner. Sounds good. But a double. Two out for variety now for Moore. That's his second hit of the day in his fourth double of the season. Brings up Olison. We used to have that Raising Canes promotion. I always have loved it, but seeing that makes me uh, get a hankering for it again. They got insurance out at second. Choking up is Olison. And the first pitch to him, he swings in, pulls it foul to the left side. And then Ricochets out of the dugout and goes almost into the middle of that tarp. That would have been a good uh, putt-putt <laughs> bounce. As one of the uh, reserve Jack players goes down to grab that loose baseball. And you bank it off the windmill to try to get it in the hole. The pitch. In the air to left center. Walsh coming over and making a running lunging catch down to the knees. And that'll do it. Al's looking for some comeback ball to win it, or at least forced extra innings. No runs on two hits in that inning. They strained another, but six to four. Southern leads Bryce, bottom of the ninth. Coming up next from Learfield IMG College. And humane. I've had my fair share of bruises and injuries. But for many who put their lives on the line every day, it's not always the injuries you can see that hurt the most. Every single day, 184 veterans are diagnosed with post-traumatic stress. When medications and therapy don't help, professionally trained service dogs can. American Humane has created a free guide to help veterans obtain these life-saving animals. For help, please go to AmericanHumane.org. I'm getting older. Do I need to worry about falling? Yes, you do. Each year, one in four people 65 and older will experience a fall, and many will be serious. The majority of falls happen at home, so remove things that could make you trip and install handrails to keep you steady. To learn more about the steps you can take to help prevent a fall, please talk to your doctor. You can also visit aarpfoundation.org or medicaremadeclear.com slash falls. This message was brought to you by United Healthcare and AARP Foundation. We are your 
So Southern looking to do something that has not been done in a while. Rice has not lost to a SWAC school since 2012. Lost to Grambling. Six to four, Southern over Rice. Bottom of the ninth inning. Azoa, bottom three of the Owls order. Into the wind, in the pitch. Walsh steers to the first pitch down low. One and no. Oh. Walsh in this game, sack fly his last time up. Part of that three-run sixth inning. The kick and the pitch. In the air to right field, going back. This is drifting, going back to the track towards the wall. The running catch is made. He had to navigate that win. Spears makes the grab. There's one down. Second base for number 13, Will Carp. Here's Will Carp. Probably the most notable loss to a SWAC team in school history. Goes back to 2004. The Owls had won the national championship, of course, and came back with. I've had guys from that team tell me that that 04 team was better. As there is action down in the Owls bullpen in the event they get to a 10th inning. But they're down two here. This pitch is down low. One and O. Oh. Pitch down low to Carp. Now two balls and no strikes. But the Owls lost to Texas Southern in their opening game, hosting the regional. The pitch, strike to Carp. Now at two and one, Ozoa getting up to 91 on the gun there. That was the Harold Coachman game. Hit a home run in the eighth inning for Texas Southern to the pitch is fouled back two and two. Rice was leading three to one. I forget where Coachman coaches now. Coaches men. Hit that homer to put it to four to three. This 2-2 pitch is popped up by Carp right side, giving it a run Burgos. It goes out of play. Texas Southern was 19-33 coming in that game, but they had won the SWAC tournament there. Owls went on. They lost to uh, Texas A&M in the regional final there. They came out of the loser's side of things. 2-2 pitch into center field, a base hit. Owls will bring the tying run up. Carp gets the single. His second hit of the day. And Hughes being hit for. Owls have Nathan Becker coming to the plate. Becker going to hit from that left side. Carp at first. So if it does get to extra innings, Owls will need a new shortstop. Owls would, would not mind a walk-off either, but still a little bit of work to, to do before that's even a possibility. Six to four, Southern leads. One down, bottom of this ninth inning to kick. And this pitch from Azoa floats outside for a ball. And now a visit coming. Looks like Coach Crenshaw is going to come out and have a chat with Azoa to talk about the approach here to Becker. Southern lead 6-4. to four. Looking around Conference USA. Get the update on UTSA, see if they finish off that sweep. It's now 9-0 UTSA, top of the seventh inning. U, uh, Middle Tennessee 
was leading seven to four in the top of the tenth. Uh, they got a guy named Brett Coakery to three-run home run that went through the <laughs> way it's described on Middle Tennessee Twitter through the Memphis scoreboard. So can't remember the dimensions of that scoreboard at FedEx Park. It's been a while, but that's how they described it. But that was. Uh, but they've tied it up at seven since then, so they didn't have any uh, great pros to describe that, but it's seven to seven. That'll be the Owls' first road trip. Conference USA two weeks from now. Becker tired of waiting. He steps out after the mound conference. One ball, no strikes. Rice trailing six to four. Each team has uh, 10 hits. It's Becker down and outside. Becker came on in yesterday's game, had a pinch hit RBI double, the Owls' first pinch hit of the season. We mentioned during that at bat, and I'll repeat it now, how, how much Coach Braga thinks of him and his potential. The 2-0 pitch takes it for a strike, 2-1. Left-handed hitter, Zoa, right-handed pitcher. He's come on and done a nice job for the, the Jaguars as he turns and checks his property at first base carp. Two and one the pinch. Misses upstairs. Three balls and one strike. The right fielder, Spears, is playing very deep in right. He is a couple steps in front of the track. Left fielder, Smith, playing pretty deep as well. They've played deep the whole weekend. Here's the 3-1. Call to strike. Work the count full. Dunlap on deck for the Owls. Three and two. I don't think they would send the runner carpet first. But you'd hate for a double play ball to end the game. You got the middle infield at double play depth. Here's the payoff coming. The pitch. Swung on. Fly ball into left field. In and to his right is Smith. He will make the catch. Al's down to their final out. Justin Dunlap coming up. Let's do it. Dunlap one for four today. Rice down six to four. Lead off first base is Carp. The pitch inside. Dunlap gets hit, and the tying run is on base. And now. Trainer Adrian Ramon comes out to meet Dunlap a little more than halfway up the first baseline. Puts his left hand on his back as he kind of guides him, walking with him up to first base to check on him. Now Dunlap pointing to his upper arm area near his shoulder. First baseman number 32. As you probably know if you've made the effort to punch us up today. And at least have some uh, interest in this great, beautiful game. That these baseball players are a different breed. They'll they'll stay out there. So now, the winning run at the plate in the person of Bradley Knighting, left-handed hitter, right-handed pitcher Ozoa. The pitch Knighting takes for strike one. Told you going back in the third inning of this one when the uh, energy level was. Ratchet up to nine out of ten, and since then it's 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 been close to ten, if not ten. It's a tense one here. No balls, one strike. The pitch, nighting swings, bounces this one to short. Be a big play at first base. They throw over to first is in time. They get nighting, and that one will do it. The Southern Jaguars take the Rice Owls 6-4 to four here in this Sunday finale. The Owls get the series after that win yesterday, but they can't get the sweep. 
And for the first time since uh, 2012, the Owls fall to a uh, team from the SWAC. But credit Southern. They used a, uh, a strong pitching performance. They start from Bataglia. And then Azoa to finish things up. As they go to 6-12 and 12 on the year, Rice Falls to 10-11. and 11. We'll recap the final totals when we come back next. Rice Falls to Southern 